Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. We understand it's a process. You gotta take baby steps, but you gotta actually take an effort in doing what God say for the change to come. So, what you said, like I said, you being honest, give me Proverbs 28, verse 13. He that confesseth his sin. So you gotta confess your wrong that you're doing. That's how you change. It's just like when somebody an alcoholic. The first step to them change and what they gotta do, Say it, say it again. You gotta admit. You gotta admit. I got a problem. Bring it up. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. You on point. That's what we gotta do as a people. Admit that you have a problem. Then it can be changed. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever confesses and forsake them shall have mercy. Read it again. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. God said, he that covereth his sins, meaning what? Stay with me, Toriano, stay with me, listen. It say he that covers his sin, meaning what? You act like you ain't got a problem. One more time for him, read. He that covers his sin shall not prosper. So take a listen. Once again, Toriano stopped and he's listening. This message is for every black, Hispanic, and Native American walking up and down Madison, just going about your business. God said if you cover your sin, if you act like you ain't got no problem, if you act like it's no issue within you that you need to fix, read. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. God said you will not prosper. Meaning what? Ultimately you gonna die. So in order to prosper, the first step in changing is admitting, like the brother said right here. After you admit you got a problem, what you gotta do? What do you got to do? Matthew 4 and 17. What do you have to do? Because that's what we finna get into, the steps. How do I change? Read that. Read 4 and 17. So, you admit your problem. Admit the sin. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 4. Verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach. And to say, my sister don't leave this message for you. Read. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Read it again. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say. So we are followers of Christ. We going out preaching just like he did. And what is the message? The same message today was the same message back then. Read. Repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent for the brothers across the street. My brother with the red hoodie, listen up, bro. I know you turning up. You think this is going to last forever, bro. Listen, listen, read. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Change for the kingdom of God is coming to this earth. What is that saying? We in the last days. Bring it out. God is plain and simple when he talks about his changing. Luke 13. In three, you must change. 
We must change. We must change. Toriano, don't leave. Read. After that. First Corinthians 3 after that. The, the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Read it again. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So God is very serious. You either going to change or you going to die. That's Get right. down or lay down. Get down with what? Not a stop. Not a game. Get down with God. You've tried your way. Try God's way. You must change, my brother. That's now, right. we talked go. about breaking the rules of God, that that's sin. So, if we look at Toriano, if you take a step back, you look in the mirror, what's some sins that you breaking right now, my brother? Okay. Okay. Abusiveness. Exactly. And that take a lot. That takes a man to admit his problems. You got to get some help somewhere. Some brothers is weed. Some brothers is smoking. Because I noticed we had the black man. That's not right. But we going to show you. What the Bible says about that, you understand? Bring it out, bring it out. Y'all have fight. Read. The book. You want, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 16. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So your body is the temple of God. Listen. And the spirit of God dwells in you. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Let's read it again. We're going to go through it slower. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So the temple of God is not a physical building. Bring it's it your body. It your body is the temple of God. That's right. Being that your body is the temple of God, you can't put it's what you man. want in that body. Because it don't belong to you. It belongs right. to God. I had to come to that same realization. Read. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and the Spirit of God dwells in you. You see yourself on that side, my brother? You are the people of God. The people of God, the Spirit of God naturally dwells in us when we do what he say. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, if we defile this temple right here, we put weed in it. Uh, smoke from squares, blacks, tattoos, we sleeping around, crack, heroin, lean, pills. That's defiling, ruining, destroying the temple of God. Bring it out. Fornication. Fornication is sleeping around. You trying to smash every sister you see. That's defiling God's temple, which is your body. What do you think God will do to you? Punish you like, I'm glad you said that. Exactly. You're absolutely right. Read that. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So, if you keep smoking, what's one of them punishments he'll put on you to destroy you? Cancer. Right. Cancer. It's just like when you see these builders in the neighborhood. After all that graffiti, people pissing in the hallway, people throwing food out in the building the building start to crumble and get weak and you can't fix it ain't no repairing it it must be tore down that's what god will do to you if you keep defiling that temple which is your body you a son of god you can't do what everybody else do you special bring it out but if you keep going against god you hear me listen you keep going against god what is he gonna do him Shall God destroy? Because you defile what belongs to him. This body, everything can't go in it. It's just like a car. Bring Your car got certain gas it take. You can't put 93 in there if it take 87. Or premium if it don't take 87. You get what I'm saying? You gonna ruin the car. Same thing. You gonna ruin your body. That's yeah. why our people got diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, 
having strokes because we're not following what God said. That's right. Get out. Next thing. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Read. For the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So it said, the laws of God, the rules of God is perfect. My brother, if I follow the rules of God and the Bible say they're perfect, what that's going to make me? Say it again. Perfect. So up. you can be perfect, but you got to stay, you got to take steps into being perfect. Right. You don't just stand there and become perfect. You got to put an effort, put your best foot forward like they tell us to become perfect. That's Read. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. What's going what's gonna to convert you? What's going on, bro? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. God's laws, his rules is what's going to change you. Yes, right. Then no man change. There you go. Then no man change us. We heard the words of God. That's what made us change. So seeing us, you can change. We the example for you. Bring it up. Only thing stopping you, Toriano, listen to me. Listen. The only thing stopping you from changing and being a better man is yourself. Right. Nobody else. Bring it out. You know, once you put your mind to something, nobody can stop you. So, you got to put your mind to changing. Getting that situation better that you reveal over here. You understand? Okay, I got you. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. Bring it out. I thought of my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. Bring it Read out. it again. I thought of my ways and turn my feet unto thy testimony. So you gotta think about your ways. What is Toriano doing wrong? Don't worry about nobody else. Deal with you first. What am I doing wrong? Sit down and really think. Okay, the Bible say this, I'm doing that wrong. Let me fix this. The Bible say this, am I doing that? Okay, I'm not doing that, let me do this. How am I treating my wife? How am I treating my lady? Okay, Bible say treat her like this, I need to do that. Step by step, and you fix them things. It's not an overnight thing, it takes time, but you have to start somewhere. Read. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So, you must move quickly. Make haste mean move fast, move quick to come back to this. That's right. Let me follow the rules of God. That's why when we've been out here, we said we've tried our way. Look at Madison and Pulaski. This is our way. And it don't work. It's time to try God's way. Read. I made haste and delay not to keep thy commandments. Don't delay. Don't put it off. Don't procrastinate. Move quick and do this. Read. I made haste and delay not to keep Thy commandments. That's how you got to move quickly, quick, and keep the words of God. Do what the Bible says. That's right. Because if you just listening, what you doing? James 1 and 22. One ear out the other. So you got to apply what the Bible says. My brother, with the hoodie right here, you believe in the Lord? Read that. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. My yeah. sister, get a flyer. I got one. Be, got one, make sure you read it, all right? Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. Read it again. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. So we got to be doers of the word. We got to actually do what the Bible says. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. 
Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth